Hi, this is Godzera Softers, and I'm Freezer, and today I will be reviewing the AU3G, which is, in other words, the JG AUG-A3. This is the only video review on YouTube of this gun, so hope you like it. So you open up the gun, and you'll see everything you see here, except for these little pieces of styrofoam, which were just in the way, so we got rid of them and we didn't like them, and they were annoying, and we pretty much like broke them over our heads. Remember when we did that Delta one? We broke a styrofoam over our heads? Yes, indeed. Did you get a headache? No. You're a bad liar. Anyway, so here's what your gun will come with. There is the manual, which is in a plastic bag, the AU-3G manual. It also comes with an AU-1G manual. I don't know why. Basically, AUG A3 and AUG A1 manual, whatever. Comes with some paper shooting targets also. There is a de-jamming rod, which goes in the barrel. You may notice how long it was. The barrel is 495 millimeters long, which is pretty freaking long. Uh, also, you'll have this Shaiwa Wa Ting Pong Habla Oriental language. Uh, SHIOA battery. That's uh, 1100 milliamp, uh, 8.4 volt uh, nickel hydrate battery. It's a mini type. The battery space in this gun is really, really uh, confined and cramped because this gun comes with a MOSFET chip and because all of the stuff is in, all the gearbox and internals and stuff is in the back of the gun. We will have a video on the MOSFET chip for the AUG. It also comes with a pack of 200.2 BB. Oh, I'm pride. What, what's left of it? Ugh. He lost his pride when that bird crapped on him on the way to Kroger when we did that destruction video Ugh. last week. Also, there will be a trickle trickle charger. Uh, we don't recommend you use that. We think, you, we think you should invest in a smart charger, which is about 30, 40 bucks. Charge the gun so much faster. There's the, uh, there's the iron sights. Which are on this gun? Well, actually, they don't. They're not on it. They come with it. They're just basically little pieces of crap molded plastic, and it really sucks. You have, basically have to screwdriver them to get them to where you want them to be. Like this one will go in the front of the gun. This will go in the back of the gun. It's just crap. Like, don't use them. If you want some sights or some uh, optics on this, because it doesn't come with any, you should get a sight or a scope or something like this is an EO551 uh, hollow sight this is about 90 bucks from uh, evike.com not evike, Airsoft Megastore I don't like evike um, also I got this sight for free when I ordered my uh, Echo 1 uh, AK Tactical RIS it's pretty nice it's just a little red dot sight and then there's this we don't know what this is feel free to tell us if you know our gun was, actually my gun, was rattling, and we didn't know what it was, so we took it apart, and we found out that this thing was blocking the charging lever from going back, like it wouldn't go back any farther than this. So we, op so we opened it up, took it out, tried to screw this thing back in its place, it wouldn't go, we took it out, threw it away, charging handle works just fine. Yeah. Also, it also comes with a little safety, orange safety tip right here, it says PDW on it, uh, which is kind of ironic because it's a safety tip. It's not going to defend you if you can't shoot anything out of it. So here's a general overview of the AUG. I will start in the cons and start in the back. Um, because it's a bullpup gun, all the internals and the gearbox and all that lovely stuff is in the back of the gun, um, which is why the barrel is 495 millimeters long, because it starts back here, goes all the way to the front of the gun, like back up to here. So that's a pretty long barrel. Anyway, because all that stuff's in the back, um, there's limited battery space in here in the battery compartment, also because the MOSFET chip is in there. Uh, next thing, the sling is not very, the sling mount right here, not very trustworthy. I don't like it very much. It just, it's wobbly, it's in plastic, it's not sturdy. I don't trust it, and I don't think you should either. Next would be the mag, the 330 round magazine. It's really, really wobbly, um, but doesn't affect much, just annoying. Um, 
Next thing, I, next thing I'm going to say is the hop-up unit. I don't know if this happens on all logs, but on ours, it does. For some reason, our hop-up unit allows some BBs to fall through the gun when we have a loaded magazine in. Um, the gun works perfectly fine. We're not sure why that is. We just haven't taken it apart to find out and try and fix the problem, but that's what's up. Next thing, the rail system is really freaking heavy. I mean, this th everything on almost this whole front of the gun, except for the flash hider, is metal. So, because most of the weight is on the front of the gun, you should probably buy a foregrip to help you support the weight because it'll make the gun more maneuverable. Um, and, yeah. Uh, next thing would be the rails on this side of the gun right here. It's shorter than the rail on the left side because of this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the gas release tube on the real weapon and I guess the designers at JG wanted the gun to be as close to the real thing as possible so they made the rail on this side shorter. Uh, next would be the metal, the barrel right here. This is the inner barrel right here and it sticks out at the end of the flash hider. You can see it right there, the little gold part. This is part of the inner barrel, and just because the barrel is so long, it sticks out a little bit. Um, it's kind of a con, and also because the flash hider is all really, really hard to get off, we haven't figured it out yet. <clears throat> but what will probably happen is once we figure out how to get it off, I am going to buy a really big barrel, like a 600 millimeter barrel and a silencer, and I'm going to piss Chronic off because my gun's going to have a bigger barrel than, he, than his does. <laughs> so, anyway, good things about the gun. The front uh, sling mount right here, it's pretty much welded into the, me the metal rail system. It is extremely, extremely sturdy. Uh, it just spins around and stuff like this. I really like it. It's really sturdy. End of story. Uh, another good thing about the gun is how easy it is to take apart. This bit right here, if you push this little thing through right here, then you can pretty much disassemble the entire gun. The whole part will, whole front part will slide off, and you will be left with something like this, and the whole front part will slide off. Um, this is from my old AUG. I don't like this. It's just a piece of crap. Just an example. Uh, yeah. Woo! So now back to the good stuff. Um, what, what is nice about that is that you can take the front from the uh, 2G or the 3G and you can put it on the one with the scope or the one with the top rail. I don't know why you'd want to put the one with the top rail on here because you have three extra rails on this one. But if you so desire, you can do it, which is what makes the AUG so versatile. You can switch it to just about any roll you want with a simple uh, front barrel change. One of the pros to this gun is the MOSFET chip, which is pretty much unheard of, except for in Sysma weapons, so for a clone, that's pretty outstanding. And if you want to watch the video, you can do so here. Now, um, another cool thing about the AUG is the uh, fire select system. On guns like the AK-47, the selector switch, you pretty much just flip it up on the side of the gun, or on a M16, you just pretty much flip the switch around. Um, on this gun, there is no such thing. Since the safety is right here, you push it through, and when you fire, you pull the trigger down. If you pull it about halfway, you'll need some resistance, and that means you're firing the gun on semi. When you pull it all the way through, you hear, you hear a small click like this, and that means you're doing full auto. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but it's just takes getting used to, but it's very innovative, and it's very, very nice. Have. Also, another uh, pro to this weapon is the dual um, e uh, ejection port on the AUG, which is the real feature from the real AUG. So you can choose which way you want to have your hop up, and you have a little rubber casing you put on each side. There's a little piece of metal in there that you can unscrew and uh, switch sides so you can have it on each side to push the thing back. Right. When you pull back the charging lever right here, and it shows the hop up in here, uh, there's, this is the piece of rubber that Deltamon was talking about right here and you can flip it around you'll see it here right here there's the hop up unit right there and if I flip it around 
it also has the same exact thing here. So whatever side you want, you can put it on that way. If you're right or left-handed, it doesn't really matter.